This is a seven horse jump off round at the 1.6 meter final for the Coachella Cup in Thermal, California, 2023. First up is Mark Blumen from Columbia riding Ubalek. And right off the bat on the second jump, the horse decides he doesn't want to go over to that fence, shaking the head and letting him know, hey, I'm not doing that. So he circles around and will he make it this time? Yes, he did. This big time event is put on by Major League Show Jumping, so you can go to their website to find more information. I mentioned the jumps are 1.6 meters high. If you don't know what that is in inches and feet, it is approximately 5 feet 3 inches. Not only that, but a lot of them are oxers. Those are the ones where they have two sets of standards several feet apart. So not only do they have to go high, they also have to go long. Like on this one. And it's beautiful to just watch them soar over. I'm doing something different. I'm uh, slowing down the action to half speed on some of the jumps, but not all of them. That way you get to see them both in regular speed as well as slow motion. So please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see every jump in slow motion or none of them in slow motion, or if you like this format where some are slow and some are normal speed. But he clears this last jump, and if it wasn't for that second jump, he'd have a clear round, but he's got four faults for that refusal. Next up is Carl Cook from the USA riding Kalinka Vant Zorgliviet or something like that. Just a reminder about what's at stake in this jump off. It's for a purse of $1,340,000. I doubt that Carl Cook is thinking about that as he comes up to this big oxer and uh, handles it with ease. His horse is not all that big for a jumping horse, but you can see he does a good job. And then he comes up to another big oxer and sails over that one. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like button. And if you hit subscribe, you'll be notified of more videos coming out soon. So far, so good. Now he's got a line down the back. We zoom up just a little bit. Gets through both of those okay. Comes up to the last jump. Will he make it clear? He does. But a jump off is a timed event, so whoever has a clear round with the fastest time will be the winner. Our third horse and rider are Mario De Lores from Canada riding Bartolina 2. I mentioned about riders needing a clear round. If you don't know, for each fence that's knocked down or a refusal, it counts as four faults. So now that Carl Cook has had a clear round, the only chance of winning this event are to have no fences down, no refusals, and also have the fastest time. So yeah, one fence down and you're out at this point, as far as winning anyway. And going over this jump, I'm going to stop the action and just look at the height that horse has over the ground. It's unbelievable. And right here you can see him really picking up the pace. It is a timed event after all, and so he knows he's got to go fairly swiftly. Coming up to the last jump. And he cleared it, so zero faults on that ride, but unfortunately for him, his time was slower than Carl Cook's. So that leaves Carl in first place. Our fourth rider is Adrian Sternlicht from the USA, riding Fakitol S. Beautiful jump over that first one. And no problem over the wall. The horse is going to kind of hesitate just a little bit right there, but gathers itself and gives a big effort to make it over that fence. Oh, a rail goes down and that means she's out of first place. At this point, she's just going to place as high as she can and uh, hopefully still get a part of that $1 million plus uh, purse money. Little slow-mo over that oxer and then followed immediately by a vertical with only one stride in between. And here she comes up to the last jump. Makes that okay, but she had that earlier rail down. So four faults, she's out of first place. Next up is Kelly Schott of the USA riding Garant. Let's see how she does.
In case you missed it, here's an instant replay. She knocked one little tile down off the top of that wall, so she's got four faults right there. I don't know if I said this earlier, but uh, each time they hit a rail or refuse, it's four faults. The next jump coming up is called a Liverpool. That's where it's got that blue fake water underneath the jump. And she's pouring on the speed, makes a nice long jump over that big oxer. And then she turns on the speed in between jumps again. Eh, kind of slowing down there though. <laughs> Look at that leap. A lot of effort from that horse. Wow, another nice effort. And coming up to the last one. And she makes that no problem. But she has the four faults, so she's out of it. Next up is Roberto Taran Tafur from Colombia. And he is riding BP Waquita. Pretty gray horse there, almost white. And look at him fly. And we'll stop the action for just a moment as you can see how high he is over that Liverpool jump. Just amazing, isn't it? And again, please leave a comment to let me know if you would like to see all the jumps in slow motion or none of them that way, or if you like the mixture like we have in this video. Watch on this next jump just how close the horse comes to the pole but doesn't actually touch it. It always amazes me how close they all come without actually knocking down the fences, or at least most of the time, unlike right there. So he's got four faults. And as he goes by the big screen, he looks back and uh-oh, four faults. Sorry, bud, but that was definitely a valiant effort. Gives the horse a little pat. As we move on to our last of seven riders, Kent Farrington from the USA, riding Landon. And you can see this horse gobbling up ground and he really pours it on. Kent Farrington knows he's gotta go fast if he's gonna have any chance of winning this jump off. Love watching the stride on that horse though. And a beautiful chestnut too. <laughs> Quite a leap there as well. Now Kent has to fight to hold him back because the horse is wound up. He knows it's go time and boy is he going. Hey, one more reminder that if you like this video to click the subscribe button so you'll be notified of more videos coming out typically every Saturday morning. But with speed comes a higher risk of knocking down a rail which he does right there. Caught the tail end of that oxer. Clears the last jump okay, he came so close and he had the time to win, but those four faults did him in. And so the winner of this jump off is Carl Cook. He's also the winner of the overall standings for this season. So congratulations to Carl.